Uh, it's a much anticipated, as you would expect, major interview, the first uh, that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle uh, are giving. Uh, it's a pre-recorded interview. It's a two-hour special. It's gone from 90 minutes to two hours. And according to the British papers, the Queen will not uh, be watching it. The 94-year-old monarch will be concentrating on uh, her role and what is important for the nation at this time when we, of course, have a very serious, deadly pandemic, uh, and we are still in England in uh, confinement, in, in lockdown. So, as you say, uh, it's interesting because many, uh, four at least, trailers have already been issued by CBS, the American channel uh, that will be, uh, that has recorded this and will be screening this. Americans will be the first uh, in their millions to see this, and it will be a full 24 hours later that will be broadcast in the United Kingdom. But there is no doubt uh, that uh, there is no love lost, it would seem, uh, in this pre-recorded interview. We gather that uh, Meghan Markle will uh, dominate uh, most of the two-hour special, but Prince Harry will later join her and the chat show host Queen of America, Oprah Winfrey. Uh, now, as we said, this is world headlines, but the battle of words, although not official words from Buckingham Palace, uh, have really been going full tilt uh, because we've seen in some of those extracts that uh, Meghan talks about uh, how falsehoods, which is a polite word to say lies, are being uh, offered um, and used by royal aides. Now, the word the firm is actually a word that the monarchy, we're told, refers to themselves as. But uh, how far will these revelations go? What will the accusations be? We know that Prince Harry will be referring to being afraid of history repeating itself uh, with the tragic death of his uh, mother, Princess Diana, who he believes was actually pursued and eventually uh, you know, killed because of this chasing by the paparazzi. So much anticipation here.